Good morning. Thank you. Welcome for joining. Thank you for joining Coffee and Convo Live with RE and Chosen. You know, my tongue twisted this morning. Please excuse me. Hey. <laughs> good morning, H Town. H Town, good morning. The city where we originate, where we are based in. So I got to say good morning to my city. Got to say good morning to the world. It is a good day. Okay. It was a long weekend. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, it was. It was yeah. a long, long. I ain't gonna say a long weekend. It was a long election week. <laughs> I know the people that was. I know the people that was counting them votes was tired. Well, I know the boys was like, hey, it's, hey, 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 hey. We got. Hey, we we haven't come up with nothing yet. Y'all gonna have to count <laughs> on Saturday. Somebody was in there, be like. Ah. <laughs> oh goodness well thank you for joining us today today's topic we're going to talk about is uh child support <laughs> nah, i really ain't this it's is really simple but yeah we're gonna get on yeah. child support we're gonna talk about child support today um but for those of us those of you that are just joining us we're going to do a, a recap from last week Chosen, can you do that for us? I sure can. All right. So what we are going to do, what we did last week, we um Do you remember? We talked we talked we talked we were talking about our entertainment and um mm -hmm. the underlining you know, messages the in our messages, entertainment. The underlining messages in our entertainment and um how you can miss a lot of things if you just go to your movies or listen to your songs or listen to our songs or listen to our, or go to our movies just to be entertained and not edutained is the word I like to use. I like to use edutained. It's cool to be fun and have fun and, and laugh and giggle and, and then be mesmerized by stuff you might see on screen <laughs> that you can't see in real life. But then they also do, you know, sprinkle truth mm -hmm. in there, which you may believe and you really need to pay attention to that because that's how, you know, you, you, you get a little bit more insight. So we pretty much talked about that. It was a very interesting, that was an interesting show, interesting show. It hey, really, really was. You should have been in there, really. If you're <laughs> looking at this right now, you wasn't in there. Like, you should have been. I know Goodwill, I post on, I share every time I get the link to reshare this, and I put it on here, get in here. Because y'all really need to get in here. It's, it's, it's coffee and convo. I know some of y'all going to church, coming from church that can't get in, but that's cool. But that's what the, the sharing thing is for, for you to go back and watch it later, you know, have a little dessert with your sermon, you know what I'm saying? You know, have a little, <laughs> you know, have you some crumpets with your curds away or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> curds yeah. away. <laughs> so, you know, but uh, yeah, we got into that, man. And, it's, uh, and the takeaway that I think a lot of people should have taken from that was, hey, man, you know, just because something looks kitty or something looks like it's just make believe you just can't the takeaway is the takeaway is the there the there are people with agendas out there they are not hidden they are put right in front of us right in front and of us. we are i'm gonna stop saying we there are people that are blinded to the agendas because they are busy being entertained mm -hmm. okay so today we're going to talk about child support Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and I know, I know, um, <laughs> it's a touchy mm -hmm. subject. You know, I I, can, I understand that there are uh, custodial parents out there that would say, "Hey, I, we wouldn't be where we are today if it wasn't for the extra help of child support." <laughs> <laughs> there are um, people out there that may feel as though you know child support is not necessary. You know, where there is a will, there is a way. Then there are a many of fathers, and you know, it doesn't stop there because there are mothers out there that that are arrested as well for not paying child support. That was astonishing to me. That that kind of blew my mind. Um, oh yeah, about how they about how the, how that there are women also. Um, the, there are also women, women that, that do. don't pay child that are by law required to pay child support and will, will and not pay child support and they end up going to uh, jail as well 
you know that that type of stuff blows my mind now with this this matter of child support i had to dig in and do some research on it because i wanted to know where it started why it started right. now if I, I pulled up it said um 1910 in 1910 it was the uniform desertion and non-support act this was when um people would jump in jurisdictions <laughs> to, that mm. did to jurisdictions that did not have a child support law to prevent pain. Um, hold on, hold on. Rewind. Yeah. Stop. Rewind. <laughs> Press play. In 1910, there were men leaving the jurisdiction to prevent when the law was passed in their jurisdiction for child support, they were leaving and move into other jurisdictions that did not have that law so they would not have to pay <laughs> a reckless abandon and that's where it came from abandonment okay so abandon. now i agree if you lay down with someone and you create a child you know you do have a responsibility a responsibility to um assist and caring for this child however mm -hmm. however <laughs> there's a fine line there there's a fine line there now in 1950 they started putting it in the social security act for child support law the child support laws <laughs> in 1950 <laughs> And, and, and it, it amazes me how far this really goes back. It, it amazed me doing this research that there were men, predominantly men at that time, mm -hmm. leaving a household and uh, going to start a family, someone else, building a better life. And it actually had to do with what we call welfare. Mm -hmm. Because the households were needing government assistance. Right. So because of that, that's when they started uh, furthering. I mean, when I, when I went over it, they, they have so many different laws to adjust child support. And it became an issue because taxpayers, of course, <clears throat> were, were becoming frustrated with having to support these households. Mm -hmm. Understandable. However, modern day, it's become more of a punishment. It's become more of a punishment from both sides, male and females, from both sides. Okay, so you want to leave me? Let me hit your pocket. What are your thoughts on this? It's bullshit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, First and foremost, when you look at it as what it was supposed to be, because I wasn't around in the night, and I'll admit, all those numbers that you dug up and the dates, I knew nothing about that. And that's and, and that and that's just the same thing to say, like if I just get dropped into something and this is going on, I know I, I pick up from that time on, from that time forward. So that means that I see the effects that it's having on on society. I see the fix that it's having on, on, on people, and, and, and I make my assessments there. So when I look at that, I'm like, okay, all right. So you do, you, you have this system, and this is how I look at it. Okay. You have this system. You have this system, right, that you have, you, you have a child, and you don't want and, and, and you want them not being with the mother. And taking this money out your check. For some that the dead beats, it's like, hey, right, well, that's the breaks, buddy. That's this you chose not to be responsible. So therefore, this is what they do. And you know that this is what's gonna happen, but yet and still you choose to do it. So it's like I have no sympathy. I I have less sympathy for them versus somebody that is actually trying now the thing about it is okay. is the thing about it is is like i think i, I think i said this once one, one one time and i like damn man like 
at first, correct me if I'm wrong, when this happened, it applied to everybody. Like, it applied to the ones that was deadbeats. It applies to the one that was trying. It applied to both of them. So it was like, dang, couldn't they make it to where if she said, oh, he trying, he uh, he, he doing what, and then you won't have to worry about doing it. Interesting, because there is, there are statistics on that. Okay. So <laughs> where, where the the um, custodial parent does not file a formal child support order because the non the because the non custodial parent is actually trying. Like they will pay, you know, uh, for clothing, diapers, um, make groceries. They buy birthday gifts, Christmas presents, things of that nature. And this, the, when I pulled up the statistics and saw this, these things are actually being reported. So they were. There are people out there that do not file formal mm -hmm. child support yeah. orders because they and can I actually sit down and agree. You know. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, so it's like you know. From the, the early stages of it, because I'm 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 not on child support, I but I know people that are, and I mean I I actually I, I know people that are. I've actually heard of some men that actually went into depression behind that shit. Think about because they can't live. And I'm like, yeah, it's just, that's what I was getting ready to get at. You fall live. into a depression. So this is one thing that I don't agree about with it. It's, okay, so. You 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 do what you're supposed to do. You have a family, and so for some odd reason, it just doesn't work out between you and the child's mother. And uh, if she's if she happens to be one of those that that that's I want to get what I can get, hmm. and, and 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 I'm gonna hurt, I'm gonna hit your pockets, and I gotta make sure that now the dude been there all the while through everything. So it's like you have an indication you know he's going to take care of his child after everything, but you just want to be greedy. You want to be malicious. And then that ego happens when y'all ain't together. And well, I got to make sure well, if he was doing it before then, what make you think he ain't? But you still going to put this man on papers and and and, and just, just for, you know, whatever the case may be. You put this man on wonder. papers. Okay, so you put this man on papers. Now he at the mercy of the judge. Mm -hmm. Of how much is actually going to come out of his check. So now you done did this. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. What happened? <laughs> wait a minute. On average, yearly, $5,600,000 is paid in child support when it's paid in full, or roughly 465 monthly. On average. I know. <laughs> I know the hey, I know I know one cat paid nine hundred for one kid. Wow. And listen, so in, in in conclusion to what I'm trying to wrap up, I know I know I was a little long winded on this, but I'm gonna try to wrap this up. You're working hard. You a good dude. You take care of your child. She put you on papers. Now you have to work extra hard to try to maintain your lifestyle and support, you know, and, and, and send this money. What life do you have at that? How can you sit up there and you actually be happy if you got to work extra than your 40 hours just to pay for a child that you already intended on taking care of? Mm -hmm. So, you know, you have that, then you got the abuse. This is the one, this is one of the biggest things that, 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 that get me with child support. And it's, you deal with this, and it, it really, to tell the truth, it boils down to choice, your mm -hmm. choice of who you deal with. So it's like, okay, it, 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 it's kind of your fault if you dealing with this woman and she already got two baby daddies, <laughs> but you feel like it ain't going to happen to you, but you did it. And it's like, you know, it's like, dude, you just got to make sure you mentally prepare yourself for this. She got two baby daddies. That should tell you some things, sit down and figure out before you get ready to get involved. Now, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with being with who you want to be with. I'm just saying to sit down, take time out to analyze and figure out who the you're dealing with. The possibility. So, yeah, well, but what can happen? So, you deal with this woman and she has two baby daddies. You wind up having a child by this woman, 
okay? You already in the thick of it. You should have been paying attention. So now you, let's say you're the honest, hardworking father, and you take care of yours, you go through the thing, you get put on papers too. The mother two baby daddies wasn't shit. They don't, they, they ain't paying their child support, they back, but you the only one paying child support. And some of them women take the money that the hardworking baby daddy do to take care of the rest of them other kids. You splitting the money for that one child that's supposed to get all this stuff and they, they're supposed to get all this money because that man, has, that, 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 those other two children are not that man's responsibility, but yet and still you taking what he gives his child and you splitting it between two other children that are not his. And so it's now, like, that's how flawed to me that that is. That's one, that's one of the things. One of the flaws. That's one, one of the flaws. flaws. Now, the, the, uh, <laughs> hold on. I wanted, I wanted you to look at this. Out of 13.6 million custodial parents in the United States, in the United States, 82.6% are mothers. 17.4% are fathers. Do you know 87.9% went to court to get a child support order? And only 12.1% was able to sit down and agree amongst each other what type of arrangement they would have for child support? Only seven. So basically what you're saying only is only 17%. Oh, only 12.1% decided to be Adults. Common sense adults to actually sit up and say, well, you know what? I don't yep. want to put these people in your life. You know, I used yep. to have this saying, man. I used to have this saying. I'd be like, dude, <laughs> if, 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 if my gender was reversed, I'd probably be the coolest baby mama ever. Because <laughs> I'd be like, man, look, I know you need to leave. I know you need to live. And I know you mm -hmm. need to uh, do what it is that you do so if if, if 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 we were together and we ain't together man you know what since women play child since women pay child support as well today i'm just gonna mm -hmm. say i'll say if, if if i had to if, if she had to pay me child support i'd be one of the coolest baby daddies if they sit up there saying that oh we're gonna award you a not six hundred dollars a month but when we was together, that shit didn't come nearly to what that was mm -hmm. they take that shit out your check you taking care of who it is. I'm sending you your shit back. Because number one, how can you be the mother to the children that you need to be when your mental state is being tested? Because when you find that when you financially unstable, it's mm -hmm. stressful. It That's just stressful. stressful. So to me, it's like you gotta be one inconsiderate evil mother sucker to make it to where the person that to make it to where the person your child looks up to has a stressful mentality and stressing. Daddy can't do this. Daddy can't. I know, son. I know we was going to get ready to go fishing or go play top golf or go do this, but daddy got to go to work. I got to work this overtime just so I can be able to either so give you what you, you know, give you what you want or just so I can be able to live. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot with that I don't See, agree with. So I believe it all comes down to accountability. Being it's on the it, it, that that bottom line. If you can, I don't. I don't care if if you pick up a phone and say, "Hey, I got paid today. Let me go ahead and send you X Y Z." Or not even not even having to call and ask. Not you know you you know your child in this household. You know the person raising that child is going to need some type of to, you, you shouldn't, shouldn't even have, have to ask. To, you shouldn't you, have to. Yeah, like I wasn't doing it happens. whenever we was together. It was okay. You know when you got so many ways to do stuff too. Like 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 now you got you like now you got Cash App and you got PayPal and mm -hmm. you can still get receipts and stuff from this. You same. get you a sent receipt. This person, you sent this person this amount of money. This this amount of money. The only thing that you really ain't doing unless you put it in there is what you sent it for. Mm -hmm. And like to me, like unless you type up uh twenty the child uh, the uh, hundred a hundred a hundred and fifty dollars no. for. Uh, 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 little Johnny shoes or, or something like that, you know, since yeah. if you did that, right, okay, but the thing about it is, is you you could, you should, you, you was doing that when you and the mother or, the, you know, or her and the father was together. together, 
You was just automatically took them shopping. You took them out to eat. Yeah. You took them out for the game time. You and okay. Now speaking of game time, there's also the issue of well, I pay child support, but she don't let me see my children. What you got to say about that? Bitter people. <laughs> bitter ass people. No, you okay? You got men and women that's out here to ruin each other, and it's yep. very, 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 very. It, it, okay, it's it, it's it's that's very immature. It's it's very immature. But, okay, you saying it's it's uh, you say bitter. So it's just being vindictive. like being just being vindictive. Like, oh, I mean, I've seen so many. You and there was one YouTube channel. I mean, one uh, uh, one Facebook post a long time ago that I seen where the guy was going to pick up his child, and <laughs> and, and and he pays the child support. Like after if I'm if if, if you gonna put me on papers mm -hmm. out of being vindictive, you don't need to ask me shit. Meet up, follow the court order, drop my child off, let me meet you. And he get in the car, and we gone on about our business. You ain't got no reason to be sitting up here looking in my car. Won't let me uh have my child unless I answer a certain question. Get really? you the answer you want. Like, no, man. That's not what this crap is for. Don't be mad at me because I don't want to be or, or, or because things ain't the way you want them to be and vice versa. Like, you got some dudes out there, too, that's, that, 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 that's, that's, like, that's like that, too, behind they baby's mama new life or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm not finna go. Now nah, you got you got him around my dad. Let him be the daddy or whatever. You what got people that's the, like that too. Again, this goes back to being grown. The business of being, being grown. grown. Now and just because using children as a pawn is not okay. Man, it, it, it's, it's not to me, okay. To me, whenever you look, whenever you use your child. To me, whenever you don't think about the well-being of your child, I lose a huge amount of respect for anybody. Because number one, that child didn't plan. That child didn't ask to be here. You know what I'm saying? You, How much of this child support that's going that that we're gonna say the ones that's actually being paid? Do you think the children actually see? I mean, let's think. Or is it being saved up for college tuition? Is it being saved up for the 16th birthday and they want a car? Is it being like saved it. up for uh, the senior trip? I mean, <laughs> how many lists did it take to get to the center of a Tissa Roll Pop? The world may never know. And that's it. The world may never know but I can about guarantee what it is. You, I can guarantee the money going you somewhere. the money going somewhere that, the money that going somewhere. has nothing to do with that child. Yeah. I can guarantee and, you that. And it, it, to me, I think that, to me, I think that whole system. Is being a the whole system is being abused a whole mm -hmm. lot more than what it was intended for, which generates a whole lot of hate and animosity to that system. Like, mm -hmm. like, 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 for instance, I'm sitting up here on the outside. I put I had to put myself in the shoes of that. Like, oh, I go to work. Like, I go to work to work on to I go to work to work on this and, and make sure my children are good. And it's and now I got to deal with. Not only do I have to deal with money out of my check being snatched but i gotta deal with this attitude mm. then i gotta you know what i'm saying then on top of that i gotta go to work and probably deal with a hostile environment so let's see so from the checks you already have retirement i mean not yeah, if for those that have 401k that's coming out mm -hmm. so then you have social security you have taxes and uh, let's see, am I missing anything else? Oh, insurance. If you if you pay for your medical insurance and your dental insurance coming out, and now we're gonna hit you with child support. Oh yeah, now, now we're we gonna hit you with that. You know, we're <laughs> gonna. Hit, but you know, and this has always been one thing that I have that I said is like to me. You know how I. You know how I. Uh, you know how I, uh, yes, I know. She, 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 y'all got to excuse me. My dog is whiny. She's very clingy. She, 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 she want all the attention. Notice I said she, now I'm just bullshit. Let me stop. Uh, <laughs> Mess around and give anyway. her uh, uh, pet support after a while. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right. So you have, so you have all of that going on. And, uh, and so you, you, you get to the point where it's like, Hey, where, where's the reprieve? You don't see at? your check. You don't see your check, so you, you become, 
and th and this is this has always been my thing. This this is part of the system. This part of that system that was made to control you and keep you enslaved. That's an opportunity. So that's another reason why I don't agree with the child support system because even though you sit up and say, well, you got to take care of your children, I can take care of my children on my own if I'm a responsible human being, a responsible adult. I don't need you taking money out of my check that I work hard for that's way more than what it is. Now, I would be pissed if I sit <laughs> up and I, I – look, I would be pissed if my child came to me and if I was giving – if I was doing 500 a month and I come back to, and I come pick my child up, no, my, child no, got no. On, my child got, my child got on some pro wings and some, well, you know, my child got on some pro wings. He got fruit of the loom shirts. I ain't talking about undershirts. These are the real shirts. And like, mm. I'm talking about just bare minimum of the stuff that he, that he is, that he's doing. And, 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 and she glammed up or, or it is some, he eating McDonald's. <laughs> I'll be like, okay, where's my money going? To be fair here, to be fair here, this is like uh, divorced households. And let's say the women are not making as much money as the men, because that's typically what the situation is. She needs to be able to live on her own and be able to raise these children. Okay. So this is where the public housing comes into play. Um, the welfare, the Medicaid, the food stamps and everything, they will ask who is the parent, you know, and right. they'll go from there. Now, if you're receiving government assistance, they will, the state, the state can put child support on this parent without your approval, without you agreeing. Because yeah, we, yeah, because, assistance. you know, you ain't doing what it is that you, you ain't doing what it is that you, that you're supposed to be and, doing. Hey, being grown okay so i know you need to get a place to make sure there's a roof over my child's head right. okay if i need to co-sign if i need to drop off something to you every two weeks to make sure that rent is being paid the bills being paid that's called responsibility that's, that's called accountability no that's you stuff that don't nobody should tell you that you have to do but at the same time growing up in your parents house growing up in your parents crib you know how we all, you know who we are as parents. I shouldn't have to get up and tell you to clean your bed. I shouldn't have to get up and tell you wash your, you know, wash your face and brush your teeth. I shouldn't have to tell you all of that stuff. That's the stuff that I show you that you're supposed to do. And if you don't do it, then there's consequences. Now that part I get, cause mm -hmm. everybody should know already. Like you should know already, hey dog. I got a responsibility to take care of. If I'm not taking care of that responsibility, at least until they get their feet to where they can carry themselves but that don't mean stop supporting that don't mean so and so and then this is another this is another thing that i wanted to go off of i really do think that they need to change the term child support <laughs> that that okay and i should have said this in the beginning of the podcast of the subject because support means if my daughter is playing piano her support comes from me being at that recital Mm -hmm. Her support comes with me giving her mental, you know, strength in her mental state. Mm -hmm. Oh, you being bullied at school? Let me show you how to help deal with that. I'm supporting you on the inside as well as the outside because that you, we already know you need food and clothing. That comes with that. You ain't right. gonna live without that. So you know that's a given. That ain't got really nothing to do with support. My mm -hmm. support, the support part is to me to support you to be the best person that you can be. And that's my responsibility on it because I can give you all the money. I can Scrooge McDuck your little behind and give you everything <laughs> that you asked for. And you, and you wind up growing up being a screwed up individual because I never supported all the other things mm -hmm. that needed to be supported. Your mental state ain't supported. Yo, the way, yo, the way you deal with people ain't being supported because I'm just throwing money at you. Throw, excuse me, throwing money at you. And then, uh, you seem notorious. Yeah. Remember Notorious? You remember mm -hmm. the part where Faith Faith Evans even told Biggie, hey, it's you, you it, it take more than money to be able it to support does. your child. It take more than money. You have to be there. So to me, I'm like, I don't really think that child support should be the correct term for that when it's dealing with money. Negro, <laughs> you need to be out there spending time with your seed to mm -hmm. make sure that you support their well-being in life. Uh -huh. 
phone it's, call, a visitation. A phone call, yeah, like that ain't child support. That's just basically you saying that I'm finna because they get a percentage of what that child's getting. You five, you know, from what I understand. Once again, I will say this: I'm not on child support. I know a lot of people that is, but mm -hmm. from what I understand is they're not finna just take that money out. And not get part of that money, like the government gets so you part think of the that. Government so, government actually taking a part of it. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Like I said, I'm not on child support, so the the uh, child, child support agency, agency, the child support agency, they, I'm pretty sure a tax or something come out of that. There may be a tax, but I, I'm not for certain on that. I'm not for certain, so I don't yeah. want to be misquoted on that. But you, you know how I am. You know I don't. I don't really <laughs> trust. I don't. I don't, I don't trust, trust the systems the of the world. <laughs> I don't trust the systems of the world like that, man. For the well-being that I never have. Like, you know, what I'm saying I have no reason to. You know, there so may be think, some good. So it's. Do hmm? you think if if these uh, non-custodial parents were to actually step up? and become a part of their child's life and attempt to be grown and talk to the other parent to um, set up some type of system for them. Again, you know, I told you the numbers. Only 12.1% was able to sit down and be adults about it. <laughs> what do I call? Well, how do I? You, okay, you're my best friend. Yes. How do I refer to people <laughs> what's the two words i always use when i refer to people no 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 do you think these humans i know that but when i say when well, listen i'm gonna ask you a question because you're not we, we think some people don't have some people just don't, don't have the, they act the like they don't have the mental they don't have the mental capacity to be like you know what I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make his or her life hell. They have responsibility. If they're not gonna do it. We, I know way. what you say, but again, at some point, conscience got to kick in. I would think. I would. You would think. Because you know nowadays, and it's been for a while, and this this takes us back to the modern uh, child support issues. Now, if they get behind. They lose their driver's license. They go to jail. They go to jail. <laughs> for up to how that's years. helping? Or how that's? I look, don't understand. Man, how look, that's no, helping. check. Uh, but the, and then once again, I gotta go to the ulterior motive side of that. Okay, mm -hmm. I remember what it was like four years ago or whatever, and they was talking about rounding these fathers up because on the media, the, you know how the media have a slant. Yeah. You know the media got a slant, so they only talked about the fathers. Back child support, they coming to get you off your job. They coming to get you wherever, chilling so with your job, homeboys. And, if you had a job, you're losing your job. So, so yeah, so, so, okay, so if you had a job and you was trying to make a way, guess what happens? Like you said, guess what happens to that job? So it's counterproductive and it's basically sinking that man down into that hole so that now, not only does he not have a job, he can't be in a child's life because he's behind bars. And like we said, how exactly does that help? If you haven't received child support in three years and he's so far behind, now he got to go do two years because he's that far behind. Where's the money Where? coming from? What are you doing? Like, what, 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 okay, how is that helping? Like, oh, uh, the, the, oh, what he's doing, the time he's serving is constantly creating a check. How about, let's say, well, he only gave me $25. I can't do nothing on $25. Okay, so you can't go get you some loaf of bread, a gallon of milk, Man, some bologna, crazy. some cheese. At least your yeah. child can have a sandwich here and there, you know, for lunch or for breakfast or snack or whatnot. You can't uh, save that $25 and wait for the next $25 he have, you know, if he need a pair of shoes I, again or a pair of jeans. You know, it's just... There are things that can be done. Okay. Yeah. All right. And this is another thing that I wanted to uh, touch on to before I forget it. Okay. I agree with all of that. And this ties into what you're saying. Okay. The, 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 the economic sense, having the economic sense of what you do with that money. Okay. If I'm paying child support and I'm giving you what I can, I'm not going to have my kid look like a bum, but don't go get my child a new Jordan's. Oh, don't go get don't 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 go get him the new Jordans. Don't 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 go get clothes 
where you can where where you spend one where you where you spend money on a shirt where he could have got five shirts mm-hmm. instead of just that one. My child at, at this stage of the game. <laughs> <laughs> at this stage of the game, we ain't worrying about trying to shine. Right? This is supposed to be about survival, right? Mm-hmm. It's right now, about- it's now, now, in my discretionary income, whatever I have left, if I choose to do that, then okay, I say, you know, this is a little extra for him. Then I go get him these new shoes. Mm-hmm. But that child support, that if you getting five hundred dollars off of that, really, you know, it's. If you're getting that five hundred dollars or whatever, it's to make sure he has his food. Okay. This ain't got shit to do about you. I'm. It, it, it really shouldn't have nothing to do about her. You chose not to be with me, mm-hmm. or whatever the case may be, or or the guy. I, I I chose not to be with her. Or I'm just gonna say it to the other way. She chose not to be with me. And she chose to make my life hell. However, most people select that like said. Now you have to worry about her lifestyle. Why the f- do I have to make sure you good if if, if you did, okay. did 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 be greasy? So that goes to these these we, we're gonna put it in a lump sum. Okay. These people, people. I just say I just that, say people. that the new what the eighteen inch what they call it. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the tra- the weaves. I forget what they have the name for it. Uh, oh, they had them bundles. Yeah, they had all them bundles. <laughs> uh, the the oh, nails man, done every God. two weeks. The eyelashes. What the, did uh, what did Shell say? What did Shell say? Shell said, said that Shell Carmel said completes y'all. You know, Carmel completes are like uh, already prepared meals. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. A minute. Yeah. Yeah, they they are less than three dollars, baby. <laughs> less than three dollars. But that's what I'm saying, man. Like, if you okay, this this whole system for a lot of people, like the way the way that the way that this crap gets gets abused, dog. Is so many people use it as a weapon. More, it's, it's, it's more. I'm gonna say it, it's more women that use it as a weapon. It, you I, only I hear you about that. yeah, you you hear about them using it as a weapon. But the thing about it is, in hindsight, the creators that the people that saw opportunity, mm-hmm. they using that as opportunity. Like it really does to me. I just don't really think it does anything good for the support of a child. It, it really doesn't, doesn't support them because that child, yeah, they might be getting the money, don't know where the money coming from. But guess what? That child wants more than that money. That child wants their parents. Want their parents. Every child deserves to have a parents base form. Base form in the family, every child deserves to have two parents in the house. Mm-hmm. Base form, they deserve that. Kids deserve that stability. Now, and we understand unless, that doesn't happen. Unless that whole environment is either toxic by one or two or both parents. Mm-hmm. That 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 daddy could be a that daddy could be a drunk, alcoholic, or whatever, and he's not good for that unit. That mother, she could be strung out on drugs. She could be very frivolous or whatever it whatever is imbalanced in that in that in that family unit then otherwise yes but but just for the sake of saying how it's supposed to be every child should be able to experience having a a, a household of two parents that are functioning two functioning household i mean two functioning parents mm-hmm. and you know so if you sit up here going to war because this dude or this woman didn't want to be with you. You're not being considerate to your child. You, right, you're and not see, the child about gets to see all of this because I can get, I can pretty much put my finger on and say the parent that has custody of the child and uh, or will be around the house bad mouthing that, that parent, the parent that's on the outside of the home. And what does that do to that child and make that child think about that parent? Number one, that child. Imagine you you seen you seen how many movies or whatever whenever they all the commercials when a mm-hmm. child got like a baseball or a football game and and they know that their dad or their mother is working and they really can't be there all the time but then when you tell the child so dad is gonna try to really make it to your game that child ain't really focusing on that game because every play they looking, every out day, in the looking crowd, in the stands trying parents. to see mm-hmm. if they see their dad and it's that's all the child is really worried about at that time. And if you're not giving that child that support, then 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 what else? You know what I'm saying? What else is there? It's like you 
everything else with it. So to me, it just seems like another it's a means. Penalty. It's a punishment. Put, it's a punishment. It's putting these parents in ruin. And I say these parents because there are women that pay child support, but it, I don't see too many dudes harassing no woman. I ain't uh -huh. never really heard too much of no dudes harassing no woman talking about how y'all where to check it. It happens, but you don't it really happens. see it. All no. you hear, and, and, and this again, once again, I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna say, it goes back to our entertainment and, and the movie and, and the music and, and our music. And, and I've only heard these. I haven't heard any other artists uh, make songs about I need my child support. Like back in the day. Uh, when Fantasia made that song, that this goes out to all my baby mamas. And, and, and uh, like, she made that song. Like, about it. She, you don't? No. Oh, my God. This song is old. It, like, again, there's she a lot has of songs the like baby that. Mama, look, she has the baby mama chant. And what she's sitting up there saying is talking about how the baby mamas go out here and they do all this stuff. For uh, you know, the baby mamas go out here and do all this stuff for their child because the daddy ain't there and this, 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 this and that. She doesn't really speak on child support in the song. And so let me say this before I make this point. If you are one of the parents, if you are a, the mother of the if you the mother of the child and the household is not together, you know, like that, and you're the one that's like, <laughs> okay, I do what I have to do. And you honestly do not like you honestly don't need the support or the help of the father and you ain't in trying to get in his pockets and all this then this excludes you don't be out here talking about you a single parent you don't need him you don't need the help but you got him on the child support order mm. you don't need me then you don't need my money mm. if you don't need me if you try if you don't need this dude what you got him on you're doing everything on your own I'm doing this by myself. And then, but every month you get a check. So again, that's another point to where I just be looking at like, man, this stuff is flawed. You can't be sitting up here wearing the baby mama badge on your chest and 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 every morning and, and, and you when the check don't hit, that's the only time your baby daddy get a call. And you don't call the check on his ass. You know, he he'd be in the hospital somewhere, laid the fuck up. And, and hospital laid the fuck up, and, and and he ain't heard nothing. But let that check be late. That shit, they calling your ass like Sprint used to call you for a late late phone <laughs> bill and shit. All right, Leroy says everyone, men and women, don't have enough integrity to appropriately take care and support a child. Agree. In I, this I, case, I, I agree. I I I I I have no rebuttal. In, in this case, each party should be investigated. To determine who's at fault. In other words, some parents need a third party to step in for the benefit of the child. See, this is where they have mediators. You don't have to go straight to court and do child support. Because that judge going to, like I said, penalty and punishment. There are mediators out there. There are pastors out there. There are counselors out there. This is where you need an adult to last step time in. I check, last time I checked, it take a village. It takes a village. See, that's what I'm saying. This now we're not talking about grandma and grandpa. Girl, yeah, go ahead and put child support on them. We're not talking about Annie that had five babies, three different baby daddies. Girl, you need that money. Put some child support on. We're not talking about those. We're talking about responsible adults, pastors, counselors, you know, uh, mediators. They have those out there. All right. <laughs> You have anything else you want to say on this this topic? I mean, in a nutshell, man, it's really to tell the truth. You know, it brings about a lot of anger. You know, anything that brings confusion, like you really only like when I first heard uh, one of one of you know my one of a friend of mine, and he's talking about yeah, man, when this first started happening, dude, I was depressed. Like, think about that shit, dog. You a hardworking mm -hmm. man, and you get with this, and you say you get with this wife, and and and, and the wife is a, uh, you know. How it used to be, because it's different now. They didn't they didn't flip the laws around now because like if you can prove certain things when you're dealing with a marriage, then yeah, it, it, it's something things it's some things that can be afforded to you. But mm -hmm. dude, you can be that doggone husband, that man that was really working and you was there. Something go wrong and then that lady just malicious like that dude, and she put them papers on you and she take everything and. You go spiraling to now you can't live the way you need to live. And because that was your wife in certain states, 
you gotta you, you still gotta help her maintain the lifestyle she had when she was with you and that's what i wanted to a, mention but, but you living in an apartment and you eating chef bar and maruchan to... ramen at night <laughs> just so you can keep gas in your car and you go to work where you used to have to work five days a week now you gotta damn near work seven that mm. shit ain't fair and you was a good dude and like we said how much of this is actually being saved for the child for those Thank you. Thank you. college and tuition like, exactly. business, so you, senior so trips you. you know school pictures you know even though yeah. we understand we're in COVID right now you know but still there are things that that child will need throughout life child support if it's not going to helping you pay that rent to keep the roof over your head, helping you buy the groceries to keep the child fed and clothing for this child. I can't wrap my mind around why it's going to your credit card bills, yeah. your hair getting done, your nails getting done, your new vehicle or the car payment, <laughs> you know, right? uh, and for men, we're not just, we're not just going to hit the women overhead as men as well. Making sure that that new video game, the uh the some Bruh, new tennis do shoes. not sit up and get if you getting child support from your baby mama mm. bruh don't go put the new madden on reserve deluxe mm. edition mm. don't don't your child support ain't for the new ps5 my guy like like <laughs> it's dudes that got their priorities all fucked up too yep. like that so before this i want to say shout out to the women that actually that actually say I'm not gonna make your life hell more than what it is. We ain't gotta. We don't have to involve uh, them people in this shit. As long as man, I actually I know I know one woman, man, and she's like, as long as he helped me with the stuff that's for school, mm. that's the most yes. important. You help me with stuff for school, I ain't got no problem. And some women they feel like it, it like. And shout out to women that feel like I mean that that, that realize that maybe the breakup was their motherfucking fault. Maybe. And it was my fault. So I'm not going to make your life a living hell. Shout out to all of them. But a big fuck you to the ones that be sitting <laughs> up here uh, just because you want to ruin a dude. Like, just he because you want to just because else. Dude to move on to somebody else and you want to sit up there and you, then when you, oh, oh, and this one get me too. After they done moved on and you find out that then that mother find out that that baby There's daddy another got another baby, baby on the way, and they, I'm gonna oh take my. you back to court just to get some more money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it, it, I, I'm not sitting up here just, but fuck you mm -hmm. to them dudes that do the same shit because she got there, a new man. Because she got a new dude, mm -hmm. and then you want to sit up here and not show your child no, you 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 would not want to send you would not want to show your child no love because she got a dude in her life that got his shit together. And you don't have. And you know there are men out there that don't. Do that. They re, they get to a point where they don't want to pay child support because she didn't got married. She, she got has. a new husband. Why do I need to? Why do know, I have like, to pay like, child why support? Do I have now? To, okay, number one, this right here, that's your that's that's still your seed. Mm -hmm. That's not his responsibility. He's going to take. As a man, of, uh, as me, for instance, all right, I will say, I am in a situation where I do take. You know, take care of a child or take care of a child that's 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 not mine. I don't call him my stepson or that's my son, but the but the dynamic in this is different. I have respect for his father because his father chose to like be in his life, and I talk to his father. Me and me and his father get along very very well. You know what I'm saying? It's like, but I don't go around here bashing and being like, "Hey man, you need to right? talk this, 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 this. It'd be like, you know, you know, you. you I'm here to help. It take a village. It it's takes a village. It's more about being and it, grown and saying, is it being you know, grown. So what if I sit up here and I bash and I talk down to his pops? I wouldn't. I wouldn't want nobody to do that shit to me. Right. You know what I'm saying? The only thing is, I just said, man, you respect the fact, and I'm, I'm like, I'm glad that the fact that he respects what I got going on, and and and, and he don't disrupt anything, and he talks to his son. You know, I'm never gonna sit up and try to be like, nah, man, uh, I don't want you to talk to him. I don't want you. I don't think this is this. this. It's all about helping each other, man. And mm -hmm. if more humans had the capacity to see that, then I believe that in our community, because they put it off on us like it's really mostly our community that has these broken families. And and so I believe that if we were to make that push 
to be able to say, man, let's set the example and set the tone that you really need to try to be a more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Try to Just be more run. civilized, a civilized adult run. to say, hey, at the end of the day, it's all about these children. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Yep. It's just so, being grown. We looking at what eight more minutes left eight on this topic, eight. man. And I think we squeezed a lot of juice we out this orange. <laughs> we it, did. It was a lot of hey yo, you might have got a lot of you might have got a rise out your boy, man. Like I said, even though I'm not on child support, I sit up there and I look at a lot of people that are, and I'll be mad for their ass. Uh -huh. Like I mean, but especially the ones that I know that work really, really, really hard to do things and make sure yeah, that they there's a straight. difference. There's a difference for those Boy. that actually work and try to do things compared to those that just don't do anything. And it's sad that there are some parents that will stop working to prevent. Just to prevent, yeah, getting getting that <laughs> shit taken out there. Exactly. Like, and listen to, and like, 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 like sometimes like you can get hit with you and your girlfriend have a baby. You and your girlfriend have a uh, just a spat. First thing they want to say. Oh, how much can you, you pay need? for child support? Mm. Then, okay, well, I guess you're ready for this child support. Mm -hmm. like, like, really? You don't understand what you're doing, not only to that, not only to that man, but to that, you know, not only to that person, because, you that know, child. dudes yeah, be doing that stupid dudes shit, too. Dudes do it, too. Yeah. Dudes do it, too. And so, that child, at the end, you understand, you got to understand what you're doing to your child, man. What are you doing to your child? The mental state of that child. And then you're going to wonder why he don't want to get, he or she don't want to get married. You're going to wonder why he or she would rather stay don't want by kids, themselves. Don't, don't want, want it. kids. Exactly. And, and it, it, when you going to give me some grandkids? Well, mama, you know what? <laughs> Remember when you and dad broke up and you gave him so much hell behind this? And I used to come back over here to this five-bedroom damn near mansion and chill and stuff like that. And everything was cool. And then I used to go over there and wonder why dad lived in a two-bedroom box. And, 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 all, and I figured it out. It's because... Mm -hmm. He had a baby by somebody that just really didn't even care for him at the time. I didn't know, but I realized you really didn't care for him, and and, and then you created his room. Why would I want that to happen to me? And then you right. have a cycle that just can't. You have a vicious cycle that goes on, and you wonder why that bitch won't break because <laughs> of the shit that, that that you that you do. You know what I'm saying? So, in conclusion, <laughs> does chosen agree with child support? No. Because there are way too many ways way that it gets abused. It's way mm -hmm. too many flaws, and 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 I and, and, and I can the only little bit of the only sliver of um the only sliver of it ain't even agreeance. I don't even want the only sliver of a uh, reason why. I'll just leave it at that. That I can say it's like Negro. You knew what the hell it was. You knew this shit was out here, but yet you still chose to do otherwise. Mm -hmm. You still chose that punishment. Like that's like karma incarnate with money. Like yep. everybody need money to survive. So you sit up there and you choose to lay down with this woman, or this woman choose to lay down with this dude, and you didn't do your paperwork. You didn't do the didn't assessment. Do your due diligence. Kind of <laughs> yeah, you didn't do your due diligence and didn't feel that. Oh man, she was fine. You laid down that and just laid because she was shell fine. Comment. She said, but see, that is why the parents need to look beyond lust when getting into serious relationships. And we're not just saying that, that, uh, let's put it this way, because there are men, they just get trapped for the child support. That's you know, a sad so thing. But at the same time, like, you got to learn what, you got to learn to understand, hey, dog, it's not just a worm, fool. This worm is attached to the string and the hook. <laughs> like, you going after the dog, going like, that worm look nice and juicy, but you like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to go over here. I'm going to bite. It ain't going to happen to me. Oh, yeah, you got the hook coming mm -hmm. out your lip. And then mm -hmm. now, you, now you stuck. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, man, she was fine. Yeah, but now you got a baby mama for 18 years and her behind and gained extra weight she ain't as fine as she was but now she giving you all this hell and because exactly. it was because that was that new, because uh, you she know, was fine so she, she was, was fine. so fine now you got a 500 hundred dollar fine a month <laughs> yeah. how fine right. is it <laughs> thank you for joining coffee and convo live with Ari and chosen we hope you enjoyed right. today's topic on child support if you have any questions or comments please feel free to email re ready for peace at live.com Thank hey, you. and I tell y'all this too. If y'all 
tell you, for people that don't get a chance to tune into the live and you watch this later on and you leave in comments, like, go ahead. Still feel free to leave comments, man. We, you know, every, throughout the day, them. I read comments. I check yeah. them in. I ain't got no problem with answering them back. But other than that, man, y'all have a wonderful day. Y'all be balanced. Be victorious. Be great. And uh, <laughs> hopefully y'all be getting some sleep because this, <laughs> this election was long. <laughs> Enjoy your Sunday. Bet.